I'm going to read for you from Ecclesiastes 7. The Bible reads in verse number 1, A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. And you see, Pastor, why are we turning this passage? Well, one, there's a lot to learn from this passage. And where the Bible says sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. It's important to understand that grief and sorrow is not a bad thing. And the reason why I say that is because the world today is going to try to tell you that, oh, you're sad, oh, you have sorrow, oh, you have grief, take this pill, take this drug, because we don't want you just to be sad. You, you need to just be happy all the time. You know what? It's okay to have grief. It's okay to have sorrow, and it's something that we all have to go through and deal with, and it's not the most pleasant thing, but you know what? It still is good for you. There's a lot of things that are good for us as people, that end up being good in the long run for you as a person that are not pleasant to have to deal with at the time. Case in point, the disciplining of, of children when they receive that spanking, is, is, it's not fun to go through that at the time, but you know what? It's good for them. It's going to help them become a better person. And grieving here, the Bible says, sorrow is better than laughter. The sadness of the countenance, the sadness of your face, by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. And when you're grieving, again, it's going to be harder to understand these things. But it, in, the, in the long run, that grief and that sorrow that you go through and that trial and, and, and everything that you're bearing and dealing with, in the end, is going to end up being better for you and strengthening you and is going to be good for your heart. And you know why I know this? Because the Bible says so. And you can see it anecdotally. You can see, well, what good is the house of mirth, right? The people just, it's all about fun. It's all about partying. It's well, everything I can do just to feel good, feel good, feel good. It doesn't work. It ends up just being a facade. I went down that road. It's empty and vain. It's not real joy. <laughs> you know, actually, it ends up bringing grief and sorrow and misery. That's right. and, and it's kind of this, this perpetual cycle that you could get yourself involved in is trying to seek that happiness and be in that house of mirth. You know what? Why don't you just go through, try not to mask? You don't have to mask the pain. You have to go through it. You go through the grief and the sorrow. And, and go through it with God, with your Savior. Let Him be with you the whole time. Let Him give you the strength that you need. And when you get through it, the heart is going to be made better. Verse number four says, The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. The wise. It's okay to go through mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. You don't need medications because you're sad. I'm against all medications for depression, for sadness, for grief. All of it. Amen. You do not find that concept in the scripture at all. I do think it could be a real problem for people. I do believe depression is real. People get real sad and, and, and have these problems and, and, and it could be debilitating with the amount of grief and sorrow they have. I know that it's real. But the solution that's being provided by the world is wrong. Right. It is not a chemical imbalance. It is not some physical thing that you just need to take this or eat this or do this drug. That's no different than people just, you know what, drinking their sorrows away. Right, right. right? I'm going to drown out my sorrows. You heard that before? Yeah. Does it work? <clears throat> no, it doesn't. For a temporary period, a short term, you're going to act like an idiot and act like a fool and think you're real happy, right? And you can go out and say stupid things and dance around and act a fool and not think about the things that are making you sad. But you know what? That ends. 
And then you're going to wake up in a worse condition than you were before you started. Because now you're going to have the hangover. You're dealing with the effects of the poison in your body. You're going to have to try to think about, oh, man, what did I do? What did I say? What kind of filth came out of my mouth? Now you're worse off 